Hello, what is up? Today we're gonna talk about how to remain calm when you forget your prepared speech. See this image? It's the hawk. He's meditating. A wild person with a calm mind can make anything. As you can see, there's incredible hawk. He has a lot of strength. He has a lot of power, raw power. But he needs control. So that's why he's calming his mind to be able to control this power. Just remember that. Imagine that you are incredible hawk or she hawk if you're a female and the power is within your control. You just need to practice it. Why learn how to remain calm when you forget what you're saying? It's a, either it's a speech, it's talking to someone, or it's a pre-planned conversation and you need to say something to her or him. Why do you need to learn how to do this? Well, I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why you need to learn this. But first of all, don't forget to subscribe, learn more tips and tricks to improve your communication skills. Yeah! So reason number one. See this image? To be ready when it happens to you. You're just like a marine. You're a soldier. You must be prepared. Every time you're caught off guard, you need to prepare yourself. So I'm gonna give you a tip that you can use when this happens to you. It's gonna be one of the tips below. And just keep watching and stay tuned so you can use that technique so you're gonna be always be ready. Reason number two. See this yoga pose? Quite good, eh? Self-mastery, it's just like yoga. Uh, when you do yoga, I remember when I did some yoga, some poses were difficult. So for example, the loto pose, or for example, this pose, this is very difficult for me. I can do it a little bit, but I can do it, I cannot do it perfectly. So it's the same thing. Your communication skills is just like yoga, it's a self-mastery. In the case of yoga, you're trying to master your body, your flexibility. In speeches, by learning how to be calm when you forget your speech, you're having self-mastery. You're controlling your emotions. When they go wild, you control them. So it's part of self-mastery. Reason number tres. It's broken glass, right? To break your limiting beliefs. You may be thinking to yourself that you need a script, a teleprompter, or someone whispering you through a headset so you can say your speech perfectly. Well, I'm gonna break that limiting belief with one of the tips in this video, so stay tuned because once you find and use that tip that I'm gonna give you you're gonna be able to eliminate and break this limiting belief that you have of when you forget your speech you're not gonna bomb anymore so stay tuned and we're gonna break that limiting belief that you have tip number one Embrace imperfection. You see this art pieces? Uh, it's a metaphor. It's just like art in the sense that you're gonna draw, you're gonna practice a lot, you're gonna fail a lot, but there's one thing. There's a difference between doing something and not doing something. By embracing imperfection, your own imperfection, you'll be able to move forward. So have this belief in mind that you are enough. Embrace those imperfections. You may not be able to recite the whole speech from scratch, from your prepared speech, but you'll be able to do one thing and that is to embrace imperfection. Because when you embrace imperfection, you won't have the pressure of doing it perfect. So remember this tip number one. Tip number dos. Have the key bullet points in mind. 
you see this picture well it's a metaphor wow runners may not know the whole trajectory meaning one step I need to step here one step I need to go there one step I need to go here they don't know that they know just one thing you go from A to B from point A to B if you as a speaker focus on going from A to B which means you start a speech then the ending you know exactly what is the ending you may have forgotten all the points point a point b point three all the all the coloring of the speech all the sub stories etc but if you focus from a to b and only the main points you'll be able to move forward so remember that have key bullet points in mind just like a runner go from a to b focus on that and you'll just keep on remembering the key bullet points no need to remember every single speech every single movement you just need to remember the key bullet points tip number tres un dos tres veinticuatro veintinueve don't forget to subscribe to learn more tips and tricks for your communication skills that's tip number three yeah hey just subscribe actually it's take your time breathe four in four out you see this image this metaphor imagine that you as the speaker you're the person sitting there and the world see the clouds the mountains the water the hard surface everything is a distraction and you need to focus on just one thing during that moment and that is to breathe the air and in and out it's just like speaking when you speak there are distractions there's the sound of the water the rough surface that you're sitting on the mountains the clouds those are all distractions when you do your speech you will have these distractions and these distractions can make you forget what you're gonna say so I want you to just focus on breathing four in and four out by doing this you're calming your flight or fight mechanism in your body which is ingrained unfortunately you cannot take it away unless you take a certain part of your brain which is the amygdala well rather than having surgery in your brain I just breathe four in and four out this will help you remain calm during that moment when you forget your speech by doing this you'll be able to remember the key bullet points and you remember to embrace imperfection it doesn't need to be perfect you just need to stay calm and by doing this breathing exercise you will stay calm when you forget your speech so let's do a quick recap embrace imperfection have the key bullet points in mind take your time and breathe four in and four out so where do you go from here you know the tips you know the reasons how can you do this practically here is a suggested protocol so you can ingrain yourself before you forget your speech on stage I want you to focus on this suggested protocol that you can do before the speech or as a preparation when you make your speech either if it's talking to someone remember it's not just making a public speaking speech it's about talking to one-on-one -on -one, talking with your family and talking with your friends it applies it has the same purpose so number one practice four in and four out while doing an air squat so you're gonna do a squat don't need fancy equipment no no you just need to do some squats and while you're doing this practice on breathing in for four seconds and breathe out for four seconds and do it for a couple of reps 10 ideally do this step for 10 times focusing on four when you go down four when you go out and focus on the breathing by doing this you're programming yourself your priming yourself to stay calm and have a controlled breath even though the exercise might be difficult or might be easy but 
you will be able to control the breathing which is the number one thing number two imagine the worst case scenario and seeing yourself as a survivor so this applies to principle number one which is embracing imperfection because you are visually seeing yourself and you're starting to feel yourself failing but after failing you see yourself surviving you feel like okay i survived it doesn't really matter so have that image in mind of seeing the worst case scenario and you surviving it by doing this multiple times throughout the days throughout the weeks and throughout the months you feel like a survivor and survivors often have some wounds some disabilities but you as a survivor has survived you're imperfect but you have survived so have that survivor mentality number three is start reading a paragraph and enunciating it one to key points another way to improve the protocol is yeah start reading the paragraph so you started reading the paragraph and you enunciate it well after that close the book or close the blog post whatever you're using and try to enunciate from memory one to key points this will enforce in yourself to have the key bullet points in mind try this out this is very effective I've done this multiple times so that's why I'm being able to speak on my feet during Toastmasters without even struggling so in conclusion no matter how you embrace imperfection you have the key bullet points in mind take the time to breathe for in and for out life will still make you forget things during your speech during your conversations with people and it is your choice if you're going to react by getting angry and frustrated or are you willing to put yourself pull yourself together and keep moving forward with your speech the choice is yours and always remember to make the right choice don't forget to subscribe to learn more tips and tricks to improve your communication skills. And you always remember, your communication is within your control and power. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, mate. Peace out.